Alright guys, welcome to Survival Sunday here today in more PS5 Master League. It is the final game of the season, Stamford Bridge is the venue, and it's all kicking off around the grounds today. Nobody is confirmed relegated on this last day. So one of the most exciting ends to a season we'll probably see today. Who is going to go down? My money is still going to go on Bolton and Blackburn. I don't know. I mean, Middlesbrough, they're in, I think, 15th position. They're away at Everton today. Um, I think, is it Bolton? They're at Celtic. Tottenham, they could go down. They're at home to Manchester United. Probably the hardest game there uh, out of the lot. Um, it's, it's, it's crazy. It's, it's, it's all kicking off everywhere. Um, so, yeah, but enough about that. We have got Chelsea today in our fixture. We won't find out the results and who is going down until... Um, after our game is finished, we've got pre-season to sort out, you know, transfer speculation starts up. This is our team, by the way. <laughs> uh, Fabregas is going to be the captain today. We've got Gambino sitting alongside him. We've got Kaiser in DMF. We've just changed the team up, really, because why not? We just might as well play a weekend squad, give them some time. Here we go. Final game of this season. What a season yet again. Um... You know, I don't know what to say. It's just another great season, I think. And here is Rooney. Rooney goes for the shot. Might as well. I think that's uh, Rayner in goal. Nice pass by Shimizu here. Didn't have any support, so he went for it himself. Um, Gambino is only going to take this. And nobody there. Cafu running in on this. Could have fired up a shot, honestly, there. Essien is going to go out. I think he's their captain today, is Essien. Here's Nedved out wide. And, oh, is that a booking? Might get away with it. Yeah, Maldini starting this one. Uh, no Cannavaro, I don't believe, um, because we didn't feel like we needed him um, for this one. Here's Fabregas, here's Shimizu. Oh, the ball's taken off him, and Roberto Carlos is going to have to get back, has he? No, Kaiser is there instead. Uh, yeah, Oscar Cordoba in goal, because let's give the guy some run out. Check was on form, but we were just like, his final day, you know, what does it really matter at this point? If you can get the league wrapped up, uh, you know... Oh! Oh! Babel with a header, great cross by Gambino there. This is coming in. Nobody's there for this. Roberto Carlos can't get onto the end of that. Oh, what is happening here? Here is Gambino, actually. Oh, he's ran past one man. And his cross doesn't make it to anyone there. But, uh, yeah, like I was saying, another fantastic season. Uh, you know, another treble. Um... Couldn't make the, um, I don't know, you might want to call it the infamous uh, 30 out of 30 season. We've been stopped by We United for, in well, in terms of an unbeaten season, we were stopped by We United last week. Uh, again, I'm not not fussed about it. We've done it before. Um, you know, we've drew to United and Everton, which uh, stopped us getting the, uh, the complete set of wins. But, uh, like I said, you know, we're, we're striving for that. If we don't get it, it doesn't matter. It's just a little thing that we could uh, we can try for. Here is Gambino. It's Gambino. It's got to be Rooney. It's a penalty. Gambino's really uh, impressive in this game so far. Babel's going to snap up, though, for the... Uh, for the penalty, and he gets it, and we're one up at the bridge. I think we've been playing better so far anyway. Uh, Ronaldo's still on 23 goals this season. Uh, like I said, he's going to win the golden boot. There's no stopping him. I think the closest is about 19. Is it 19 or something? I think Mutu's on 19 or something. He's on the bench today. Gerard is on the bench. Placed nicely there by Babel. Uh, was Babel ever really going to you know, get better than last season. He hit 29 in the league um, with a cup goal as well to make it uh, 30 for the season. 
Um, was he ever going to do it? There was a lot of um, stuff about Ronaldo last season. Like we, we were saying like we could use him maybe up front a little bit more, and that's what we have done, and it's paid off because he's he scored quite a lot of goals up front this season. Like I say, he's got 20 um, free uh, in the league, which is what we wanted. We got a corner out of that. Gambino's going to whip this in. It's Kaiser. It's Shimizu. It's going to be Fabregas. It's back with Shimizu. It's Gambino. It's Cafu. He's got a chance to put this in. It's not going to anyone there. It's Fabregas. It's Shimizu again. Shimizu, he's tripped. That is going to be against Chelsea, that one. And... Oh! Oh, it's Babel! It's not an offside. Oh, wow. Controversial goal, maybe? I All I saw was the ball bounce there quite a bit. He's up for a hat-trick. That's a brace today. I think that's that's Gambino's shot. I thought, is Gambino going to score this? Is he finally going to get his first goal? I I want to say the... I want to say the keeper had it covered. Oh, no, it's going wide, that one. That's, uh, that's very unlucky. Let's take a look at it again slightly, actually, because... Yeah, pings off him, hits the keeper, hits the keeper again... Babel is lucky enough to put that in there, two up here. Chelsea have to win this game as well, I might mention, to uh, make second place today. So we're doing Arsenal a favour here. And Chelsea are going to miss out on um, automatic qualification for the Champions League. Uh, Arsenal deserve it, though, to be fair. I feel like Arsenal have had maybe the... The you know, second best, well, I mean, second best team. You know, I mean, the, the the league table obviously shows that, but I think overall, um, definitely deserved. They have played quite hard. Here is Babel. He's going for the hat trick, and it's going to be a corner. We're all over Chelsea here. They're not giving us a hard time. Babel, oh, Babel again? Maybe no. <laughs> Kaiser in that DMF today, he needs a rest Kaiser, but we decided, you know what, it's the last game, let's just play him. Here's Luis Garcia, once of ours. Cafu's in there, that's going to be a goal kick, I believe. And Duff is on for Garcia, Garcia's coming off. Not something uh, I think I would have done. I actually kind of forgot who Blackburn are playing today. I've, I've just, I know, I think it's Aston Villa against um, Arsenal. They're away for that one. Arsenal just looking to cement the second place. If they get a win, they'll do that. It's Roberto Carlos with a throw in here. He's uh, been put in the squad for Risa today. Here he is. He's going to put this in. Oh, Rooney. Just that. I haven't mentioned much about Rooney today, have I? He's uh, he's in there. He's on a red form arrow. Uh, Awusu's on the bench. War I think we took Schwartz out for this one. I really do feel like this summer, though, a striker has got to go. I've, I think I said it last season, possibly the season before, and I just said, like, you know... I think it's time, even if we have to release. Well, I don't like releasing players, but I don't know. We'll see about it. We'll see if anything comes in and, uh, you know, if anything happens there. It's probably another case of, oh, nobody came in for our player. We'll just keep him again, because why not? We've got an extra player that way. <laughs> That's probably what will happen anyway. I say, I say one thing, and... It never usually happens. Babel's got to keep running for this here. He's trying to put some pressure on Cavalier there. It's Babel. It's Rooney. It's free. It's a mistake by Rayner. What a calamity. Sure, Chelsea are having here on the final day. That is unbelievable. You're probably thinking Babel just shoot get the hat trick Rudy's in a better position for a tap in 
And uh, our B team pretty much here is just wrecking Chelsea good and proper. Oh boy, oh boy, it's good experience for those guys that are out there today, but um, yeah, that is a good first half. Do I even have to say it? And we're back off. No half-time fixtures to tell you about because everything's happening later on. Um, I mean, I kind of want to tell you, but... At the same time, it means changing. This fixture would be an evening fixture. It's really weird because, like, it doesn't go by the realistic thing, which would be everybody plays at the same time on the last day, which is what happens in the Premier League. I always feel like the last day of the Premier League is always a weird day. I don't know. It, it feels strange in a way. It's like this season's finished and it feels odd. I, I can't explain it. It's, it's one of those things. <laughs> But um, maybe it's because everybody's playing at the same time. I don't know. But here's Roberto Carlos. And that's going to go out for the uh, corner. Fabregas is going to whip this in. He's looking for Rooney, but Reyna is there to it. He was on high alert for that one. Oh, here's Babel. What is this? Babel! Babel again. Should have probably let it go for the corner there. George on for Nedved. If he's sticking with us as well, we'll be going through all the stats. It's that game where we go through absolutely everything. We'll be going through top scorers, where um, teams finished up in the league, etc. Here is Rooney. This is pretty good from Rooney. He's got to go for it. Oh, Might as well. Uh, we'll be going through assists, stuff like that. Um, pl uh, player development. Uh, I already know who's won all the, the, all the league titles have been decided actually before the last game. So uh, yeah, the, I'm not going to reveal who's won them. You can stick with us for that one. But uh, I do have actually a special sort of surprise in store for the start of next season. If you stick to the end, we'll reveal what that is. Here's Shimizu. I really want... I'm, st I'm t almost tempted to stick Gambino up front just because I want him to get a goal. It would be really nice for him to... Here's Kaiser! Oh! Scores in the Champions League final. He's done it again against Chelsea today. Nicely done. Just getting a lot of space on the ball. Rooney here. Kaiser's just got that space to work with there. Reina is having such a bad day at the office here. He's not enjoying it. We'll be, uh, we're checking out free transfers as well, obviously, in the summer. We always do that, see if there's anything... That uh, takes our interest. We've got, uh, I think we've got a gap on the team, haven't we? Where we can try and sign someone. And this could be another goal there. It could have been, oh, it was Gambino, was it? I thought it was uh, Shimizu for a second. Drogba on for Bridge. For Chelsea here. Great game Gambino's had yet again. Be uh, be good for him next season because he'll be having his first full season with us. And here's Babel. Oh, if it had just fallen to someone there and they could have gone for the long shot. Not to be. Oh, here's Heiting. Oh, come on. Heitinger was really going for that. So just like, like our, all I keep thinking is, our spare's going to go down. Are, we, are spare's going to be relegated? That's going to be something incredible. It's like, um, with two seasons ago, we faced them in the Champions League final. To go from that to 
potentially relegated, fighting relegation even at that, you know, it's it's insane. Oh, that's great stuff. Babel! Oh, he's missed. He had to take it because the, the defender there was going to get onto it. What a lovely pass, though, from Gambino to actually pick him out. Maybe could have been a little better, but um, he still picked him out. Can't fault that. Quincy is going to come on for Rooney. Rooney's had a pretty good game, honestly. And uh, Cannavaro's coming on for Heitinger. So, yeah, Puyol and the likes have taken a rest. Oh, my gosh. Chelsea are all over the place. Yuri saw in there. Gambino wins the ball back. He's my he. I don't care who scores the goals today. You know what? Gambino is my man of the match today. Great signing, suggested by you guys as well, I believe. Um, we was after him. We got him in the winter window, and he's been actually a really good addition. I think he's still only like twenty or something. Like it's going to be interesting to see how he develops over the years. Oh, and this is this is good play. Quincy, he's got to get past his man. He's got Gambino for a little bit of support here. Uh, Gambino's lost it, unfortunately. Here's Strachowski. That's going to go wide to Duff. He's going to play in to Drogba. Oh, he was trying to pick out a pass there, but it was covered. Here's Duff. Cafu's staying on him. Here's Strachowski. It's out to Duff yet again into the box and headed away for now and that is stopped by Roberto Carlos and there could be something on here perhaps is it going to be Babel it's Babel short oh very good player just uh, nothing came of it ah, I don't want this match to end I can't believe we're right at the end already we're not going to play for ages, so we have, you know, seasons at an end. The guys deserve a summer holiday, though, they do. Be good if we could get, like, one more goal here just to cap the season off, but I don't think we will. Rain is going to boot out. There is two minutes added on, so there maybe is a little time. Chelsea not turned up for this one today at all. I think, I'm, you know, I think, like, was it last season we played Chelsea? I think we've played Chelsea on a few occasions um, on the last game. I think we got a draw. Oh, come on, it's end of season, guys. You know, come on. No need for that. We're, there's literally, like, seconds left. <laughs> you know, is it really worth arguing right now? There we go. Uh, yeah, but like I was saying, we I think we drew, was it nil-nil or something last season. We've won four here today. We was all over them, dominated them. Good stuff. Great way to end the season. A lot of you are probably thinking, why don't you just give the penalty to Gambino? <laughs> and um, he, I don't want him to get a penalty as his first goal. I want it to be a proper open goal, um, open play goal. Uh so yeah, 6.5, he was better than that, man. He does everybody else is getting sevens and he gets a 6.5. He deserved at least a seven. In fact, he was my man of the match today. I don't care what anyone says. Gambino was the man of the match for me. The game might say it's Babel, but for me, Gambino is the man today. Great stuff though. Roberto Carlos with a seven here. Cafu with a seven. Kaiser with a seven. Um, these guys, I, I mean, they did a solid job. You know, didn't really have too much to do. Um... Fabregas, 7. Shimizu, 7. Rooney, 7. Excellent. And then these guys came on just to fill out the last few minutes. There you go. That's it. This season is done. So just before we get into everything, though, these are the um, ranking announcements, the final ranking announcements for the season. Uh, Serie A uh, is top 
with the league rankings uh, with 176 points. Premier League is actually second on 150. League 4 is on 93 and bottom is La Liga with 89. But these are the team ones right here. We are top with 162. Juventus are second there with 89. Then it's Ajax. Then it's AC Milan. Then it's Manchester United on 82. Tied with Chelsea, by the way, on 82 in fifth position. Um, Real Madrid 7th. Inter Milan 8th, AS Roma 9th, and Newcastle are tied with Barcelona for 10th there. Arsenal just sitting outside that with Bayern Munich. We United are in 14th, Villarreal 15th, Tottenham 16th. They're in relegation, man. <laughs> you know, they might have gone down. I don't know. Potentially. I don't know. We'll see in a moment, but um, yeah, Aston Villa 21st there. We're just going to whiz through these. Uh, Charlton are not even in the league, are they? They're 27th. Could they be coming up? I always say that, and they never do. You know what I mean? If, if I'm honest, I, I want to see um, Pez United come back up, man. That was such a good season when they were in there. They were so unlucky not to stay in the league. Um... Uh, who's the other one? Sunderland. I, I wouldn't mind seeing them come up just because we've not seen them in the Premier League at all during the season. Or oh, is it Portsmouth? I think they're down there. You know, if they came back up, that'd be kind of interesting. We played them in pre-season, actually. Uh, Manchester City, 39 there. Peugeot United have gone up. 39, is there a chance here, guys? Celtic, great season for them, by the way. Um... They've stayed up, which they've struggled with in, in previous seasons. Sunderland gone up there. Portsmouth gone up. Blackburn are lower than them even though they're playing in the prem um let's have a look now the bottom here we got fulham oh yeah fulham are down there i think now aren't they uh 67 position are fulham with 27 points i think they are rated the worst um english team there if you consider the two divisions that were or british team i guess because we've got celtic rangers etc in the um in our leagues but uh yeah uh osasuna 15 points though is the bottom one so retired player data this is who is retiring this season campbell i was talking about him before i was talking about him and uh he's 40 now and i was like yeah he's gonna be really old he's still playing uh Ars well he was playing at arsenal he's gonna retire now Trezeguet, look at all these legends are retiring. Trezeguet for Juventus is going, Van Bommel's going, Lundberg, Totti, Guti from Madrid, 37, he's going. Um, Saha for United is going, Cordoba, I have signed him on PES 6 once, he was actually pretty good. Uh, Raquel May, Pizarro, hell, the legendary Heskey's retired. Oh, guys, do we... <laughs> do we get the... Do we get the Heskey regen for lols? Um... You know, the legendary Boopa Diop uh, right there. Uh, Sanyol is retiring. Um, Sylvestre, Carnu, Diego Tristan, Carol. Wow, Lot Thomason there. Melchior, Perez. Uh, and that's about as, as many as I really know, to be honest. A lot of retiring there. So we got like a crap ton of points there. We didn't get the assist ranking bonus, uh, I don't believe, for the Premier League. But we did get the goal ranking one. Thanks to Ronaldo, you get 2,000 points for that. We've got best overall player as well, 2,000 points. I'm not going to be surprised if it was Ronaldo. Team ranking, a uh, good 10,000 for that. And it's going to be Aston Villa and Middlesbrough have gone down. Oh my gosh. Bolton and Blackburn have done it. Blackburn have done it. They've d they've actually done it. Tottenham have survived then. Oh my god. We'll, we will get round to this in a minute and see what them results were. But anyway, before that, we have got some stuff to decide for pre-season. So, yeah, we need to go through who we're going to be actually playing. Now, I believe... Um, we are going to be playing Chelsea for the European, what would be a European Super Cup, and Arsenal for the Community Shield. So those will be the last two uh, filled in there, but we've got to fill in six before that as well. As that's our usual routine, that's what we do. Um, so I'm going to go take a look at the polls because you guys were voting on some teams and had a few suggestions. So I'm going to go based on what you guys kind of thought. Um, actually, the first one, I'm just going to say this out now. We're going to be playing World All-Stars in the first one. And if you stick around to the end of the episode, I'll tell you why. Because it's going to be kind of interesting. 
but I'll be back with you in a moment. Anyway, we are back, and this is what we've come up with. Um, so, based on the voting, a lot of people want to see the fantasy team. So, obviously, um, well, World All Star. I was always going to do World All Stars no matter what because we're t we're ten seasons in now, and I wanted to kick start next season with the World All Stars. So, that was always going to happen. But the fantasy teams. We've got the Goliaths available this year and the lefties. So the lefties, I believe, are all left-footed players. Goliaths are like huge players and I don't believe I've actually ever played them. So that would be kind of interesting. So a couple of fantasy ones in there. Chelsea Arsenal, of course. And then the three remaining spots. I had a little think about it. And um, won't it, what I'm trying to maybe do is include teams... I know we don't have a lot of spot, spots to fill, but I want to include a couple of teams that I don't believe we played before. So Palermo was one of them, and I think Deportivo um, is another team we've not actually played before in this series. So I wanted to do that. And then for the third one, I was like, ah, oh, what do we do? Do we go for, like, one of the Italian teams or something like that? I think somebody said play one of the Portuguese teams. The only thing with that is we have played Porto and Benfica before, and they're only two um teams uh, in there it would be nice to play them again but i was like we've got a spanish team in there we've got a, a italian team in there um there's a few teams in italy we haven't played before i think there's a few here like parma etc we've played udinese in the champions league before we played achieve over rona last season uh and i was like hmm what do we do i was like a few minutes ago, at the end of the um, the, the the when I was doing the ranking announcement, I was like, I really want to play Pe Pez United. I want to see them come up, and we haven't played them in such a long time. And I just thought, you know what? Let's play Pez United, guys. Let's you know we haven't seen them. They haven't been promoted again, so we're not going to play them next season. Let's do it. So every every once in a while, I think I pick one of the teams that's not been like we've played. I think Sunderland. Haven't we played them a couple of times? I think we played Man City. Was it? that a couple of years ago as well um, in fact where is division two here it is um we played portsmouth last season and they haven't come up so you know i mean sometimes I like to pick one of them and i'm gonna go with pez united this time so that is our pre-season lineup this time around so we've got like a gap in between those fantasy teams i'm gonna be finishing up with deportivo here and then two games with chelsea arsenal so yeah, and so the big question was, what happened on this final day then? Well, Middlesbrough and Aston Villa went down, and they were actually playing away. That for whatever reason it reverses it. I still don't understand why. <laughs> but Everton were at home, Arsenal were at home, etc. They both lost two one. So Everton were fine. Arsenal submitted second position. They didn't need to anyway because we beat Chelsea. But um, Blackburn were playing Birmingham. That's who they were playing. And they won 1-0. One they won 1-0 one away. Tottenham actually lost 2-1 but it didn't matter in the end. Bolton went away to Celtic and got the win. A lot of these teams that were asking, at the, the, the final time of asking um, to get the points that they needed to stay up there, a lot of them went and did it. Aston Villa and Middlesbrough didn't do that though. And um, yeah, that is what happened. We'll take a look at the table in a moment. Um, we United won 4-1 against West Brom. Uh, Newcastle was 1-1 against Rangers and i think that's pretty much it there's nothing else to really say there so let's look at that league table so this is it this is the top half of the table anyway only one change manchester united moving above chelsea there so chelsea had a chance to go into second and they fell to fourth in the end so yes that is what happened doesn't really make any well i mean it might affect who you're playing uh in the qualification round but uh, we united got there and so did newcastle finishing up in six there rangers they gave it a pretty good good so did even west brom at one point but um the gap was pretty significant in the end so there is that for us um one loss two draws 27 wins scored 92 conceded 12 goal difference of plus 80 um arsenal's goal difference was 20 so was united's so yeah uh not too much to maybe say there newcastle conceded 60 but still managed to finish up in uh sixth place there kind of crazy but let's move down to the bottom this is where it counts oh my gosh whoa wait a minute tottenham 
27 points. Aston Villa 27 points. Middlesbrough also 27 points. Middlesbrough are bottom because of the goal difference. They're on minus 20. There's no question about that. <laughs> Tottenham and Aston Villa won the same amount of games, drew the same amount of games, and lost the same amount of games. The goal difference was both minus 18. However, I believe it then goes to goal scored, doesn't it? They scored 35 goals, Tottenham. Aston Villa scored 34. Oh my gosh. That is crazy. They stayed up by a goal. That is just insanity. That That is, has to be the most epic final day we've seen um, in this entire series. I always get excited this time in series with the relegation battle, but that is probably the most exciting thing that has ever happened. Tottenham did lose... Um, was it 2-1 to United? I think they, all of them lost 2-1 two, two there, didn't they? Um, but one goal is what separated it. Uh, Tottenham conceded 53 goals this season. Aston Villa conceded one less. It didn't matter because uh, Tottenham scored one more than them. And that's what it came down to. In fact, Middlesbrough scored one more goal than, than Aston Villa there. But they conceded more, so it didn't matter. Um... It's kind of crazy because you look like, oh, like six wins for Tottenham, six wins for Aston Villa. Middlesbrough finished bottom, but they won seven games, you know. But um, the losses and the and the draws and everything all add up. But, uh, yeah, that is that. Just, uh, that is crazy, crazy stuff. Uh, Blackburn have moved up to 13th with 29 points. So they are fine with that. In fact, they won, didn't they? So if they lost their game today, they would have been on 26. They would have gone down. Villa would have survived. Um, Bolton, they won at Celtic, didn't they? So not three points off that. They would have finished on 28. Wouldn't have mattered. They could have lost today and they still would have stayed up. Um, Celtic moved down to 11th in their final position. Birmingham, they had a really good first half to the season. They're in the top half and they've slipped into 10th, but still, it's a really good season. Everton finish up in 9th. That is your table this season. That is insanity. That really has to be said. Moving ahead, though, this is uh, La Liga. Osasuna, poor Osasuna at the bottom there. Look at that, 16 points. Not good enough for them. Uh, Getafe, uh, 15 Racing just above it. Of course, nobody gets relegated. There's no second division below it, so it doesn't mean anything. Um, but still, that's the way it goes. Severe there, finishing up in ninth. And at top, uh, Real Madrid are first. They won 20 games, drew five, lost five. Uh, that was enough to seal the title. They sealed it before the final game. So, yeah, that's uh, what happened there. Uh, Atletico second, Barcelona third, Real Batiste fourth, Villarreal fifth, and Valencia sixth. So, um, yeah, they'll go into qualification for next season. So, yeah, moving into Serie A. Uh, yeah, Juventus won the league. They, um, well, they won it before the, the, the final game yet again there. Well, I said this earlier, um, but yeah, they uh, got 55 goals in the end. AC Milan finished up in second. Sorry, 55 goal difference. They scored 77. Uh, AC Milan, uh, 70 points. Uh, good good attempt, just not quite good enough to take the title, but still. And we got Udinese sitting in sixth there. In fact, they overtook Livorno there, uh, and possibly Parma. I don't know. I didn't read what was happening <laughs> before the final game i just looked at the tables and was like oh they've all been won uh lazio finished fifth roma finished fourth inter milan third uh so empoli and siena are down there uh near the bottom look at that chivo verona man oh my 13th position they were in champions league last season and now they're all the way down there what happened Crazy to think Ajax won their league 64 points, won 19 of those games. Uh, they conceded 31. How many? It's conceded 22, 33 Madrid let in actually. Um, so maybe it's not as bad as I thought there, but uh, Bayern Munich finish up in It's always Ajax and Bayern that are pretty much finishing up in the top. Uh, Stuttgart third, Marseille fourth, Lyon fifth, and Anderlecht who have just overtaken. PSV there, possibly Olympia Arcos um, for the uh, final spot. So they have got a chance at Europe next season. Very unfortunate for PSV and Olympia Arcos, etc. There, 
Um, Galatasaray finished bottom, 29 points. Porto, 30. I was considering us playing Porto as well. Um, Panathinaikos, 14. Borussia Dortmund, 13. Uh, Paris, uh, 12th. Benfica, 11th. Club Bruce, 10th. And Fenerbahce, 9th. So anyway, for the Premier League, this is the assist table. And uh, as you can see, the, you need at least six to get on this. Gerard did that. Vastair Bolton did that. Maybe that's what's kept uh, Bolton up then. <laughs> some of that some of that Vastair action right there. Um, but yeah, uh, we got Ronaldo sitting with seven assists for us. Uh, then we got Fa Fabregas got eight in the league. I don't remember any of that. <laughs> I mean, I know he, he played the last game as captain. And he, he might have assisted there, I'm not sure. But yeah, Jeremy of Chelsea actually got 14. King of the assists this season. Uh, this is the goals, though, for the Premier League. And to get onto this table, you need at least nine. Uh, Messi of Newcastle, they got 10 this season. Um, he's sitting up in 11th there. Wagner Love, he scored. Didn't he score twice against us in week 29? He's got 13. Uh, so yeah, Exogby is on there with 9, Robbie Keane of Spares is on there with 9, Luke here, Newcastle with 9, uh, Good Johnson with 9. Uh, we've got Drogba of Chelsea uh, with 13, alongside Owen as well, and Wagner Love by the way, all on 13. Eto of Blackburn scored 14, so you know what I mean, like he scored a, quite a chunk of goals there this season. And it's like, how have Blackburn been struggling? They had Eto in their team, but they've managed to pull themselves out of it. Uh, right in the end. Palm there, he was chasing all season with Ronaldo, pretty much. Uh, he ended up only on 15. I think he's been hanging around 15 for quite some weeks now, actually, though. Um, then it's Smith, who's also on 15 of Manchester United. Babble for us, managed 18. Not quite the 29 of last season, but he's played shorter time. I'm happy, more than happy with that. Mutu with 19, just one more than him. And then Ronaldo of 23. Ronaldo and Mewtwo didn't play the final game this season because uh, we didn't really see any need for them to do that. But there you go. If you care about the FA Cup at all and its assists, this is what it looks like. You need at least one to be on it. <laughs> I'm not really going to say anything here. Just pause the video if you care at all about this. But to be king of the assists in the FA Cup this season, you need at least three. And Luke of Newcastle got it. So... Yeah, the thing is though, that whoever makes the final is probably going to get it because you've scored goals along the way to achieve that, so yeah. And uh, as for goals, it was Palm and Rooney who actually got the most in the FA Cup this season. That just shows how much we've kind of played Rooney um, in, the, in the league. You know, well, have not played him in the league. Probably played him more in the cup competitions. Babel got four there. Ronaldinho got three. Owusu got three. Torres with a couple there. Jolodino, Manchester United, got two there. You need at least one to get on that. And even Mascherano, Mafio, and Risa made it onto that list. Messi got a couple, and so did Owen. You wait for cup assists, you need at least one. You need at least one, and it's tied. Six places tied between God knows how many players there. Again, pause it if you care at all. Um, Palm and Good Johnson were the top two in that one. So, yeah, and as for goals in the UEFA Cup, uh, Jeremy, actually, of Chelsea, what a good season he's had. He got uh, top assist in the Premier League. He's got uh, top goals in the UEFA Cup. Uh, he is alongside Bamoga of Real Madrid and Cassano of Roma, but still. Um, again, pause if you want to see any of that. And finally, the Champions League is here. Assists, you needed at least two to be on the leaderboard. Uh, Ronaldinho's on there with a couple. Torres for us. Uh, Rooney. Milner of uh, Aston Villa got two. This is what's insane. Aston Villa were in the Champions League this season. They were good enough to play Champions League football, you know, qualifying from last season, and they've been relegated this season. That's just insane. Imagine, like, if they won the Champions League, let's say, <laughs> and were relegated. That would have been insane. Has that deterred them from the league, though, you know, because they've been focusing on that as well? You know, maybe that's had an effect. I don't know. Um, it could be uh, Camacho there of uh, Ajax got three assists, Emmanuelson also of Ajax got three assists, and Van Hanigem, Hanigem, whatever you want to call him, of Villarreal got three, 
And as for goals, this is what the Champions League looks like. You needed at least three to be on here. We got Babel, Ronaldinho, and uh, Awusu there. Even if you scored three, it, there's not enough room to put every single player. There's probably more that actually scored. Um, it's just it picks so many of them that scored three. It, so, yeah. Um, but yeah, to move up to third place, you need at least four. And Zagi there got four. And uh, Mutu is in second with five, but Dean of Ajax, who I said was kind of dangerous and I was worried about him in the final, he got six this season, so that is that. So time for the development sheet, and again, if you want to see any of these stats, please pause the video. This is like the only time of the season I will show you any of these stats, uh, because we've had a full season, this is what it looks like by the end of it. So uh, yeah, check. Um, when he started, he was good, he's got better. There you go, that's all I'm going to say about him. He's still sort of improving, I guess. He's still good in goal. Maybe makes an error here and there, but you expect it, I guess. Uh, Puyol, he's actually gone down in a few stats. His jump has gone down by three. Uh, stamina has gone down to 93 from 96. A little bit worrying. He's 36 and he's still powerful. I still want him in the squad because he's still good. So, yeah. Heitinger. Well, what do I say about this guy? Uh, his attack's gone up there by six. Uh, technique, 95. Header, 95. He has been really good this season because when was it Colaccini left? I was like, oh gosh. You know, how are we going to cope? Who's going to replace? We got rid of Heitinger. He's come back and he's actually been really good this season. I've enjoyed him, him having him back. Um, stamina, 94. Top speed is even good acceleration, you know what I mean? Like, I think Heitinger can play DMF as well, if you needed him to, so all good there. Uh, Sergio Ramos, I mean, look at this, it's pretty much reds across the board. His jump was 86 when he joined, he is now 97. Teamwork has gone up to 95, Technique 95, Header 95. Um, he pretty much just runs down the wing all day long, just about, you know, top speed when he joined. 83 acceleration 82 look at his stats when he joined it looks like somebody i would never sign based on those stats but he's developed so well he's a keeper we're not getting rid of him he's 28 will be 29 next season Risa, he's still here since season one and uh, honestly still no plans to get rid of the guy shot power was 98 now 94 unfortunately but we're not asking him to score goals um Apart from that, everything's gone up, so no complaints there, honestly. If he's going to still, you know, if he's not going to decline, I'm not going to get rid of him. He's still so good. Kaiser, look at this bad boy. Um, he's up there now. Look at that. In fact, in fact, some of his stats have improved by about 13 points. That is quite insane, like his uh, passing um, accuracy. Um 95 it was 82 for example um top speed 96 he's got now maybe he should be playing a little bit more forward for us <laughs> with that i mean he scored a couple of goals just recently uh response good um acceleration 88 stamina's got up to 89 so that's improving as well good stuff he's only 23 that's going to improve even more, I think. Gerard has declined on stamina. He's down to 92. You expect that. He's 34. No plans to get rid of this guy. He's still amazing. Shot power at 92. That's gone down. Um, long passing speed has gone down by one. Short passing speed, but still very, very good player to have in your team. It's Stevie G. What more do you want me to say? Um, Iniesta is 30. Now, going to be 31 next season. He's improved on everything. Um, yeah, speed's pretty good there. Um, attack has gone up to 94. Uh, dribbling, sh um, short, uh, passing and stuff like that. Really good, long passing, really good. This guy gets man of the match. I think he might have had the most man of the matches this season. He just gets man of the match all the time. He is a keeper. He is not going anywhere. Ronaldo is 29 now. He is going to be 20. He's going to be 30 next season. Um, stats still improving. Still looking sharp. Still looking good. Top scorer in the league. You know, it's Ronaldo. What more do you want to say? Um, teamwork has gone up to 77. That's one of his weaker stats. His defense is. Uh, one of his weakest, well, is his weakest outside of keeper skills. He's not a keeper, though. Um, is that the thing? Like, if you put an outfield player in goal, will it improve keeper skills? <laughs> I'm assuming it would. 
That's something I've never ever thought about before, honestly. Uh, but yeah, it's Ronaldo, man. Uh, Babel. When he joined, what was what was his, his top speed was really good. He, he looked somewhat decent, uh, and like I said, last season, this season, he's improved so much. Like, has he had as good a season as last year? No, but has he been amazing? Yes. I wasn't expecting him to outdo himself. He's still a fantastic player, and we want to remain him in the squad. That's for sure. Mutu, I mean this guy. This guy is still doing it at this age, at 35. His free kick accuracy has gone down and his acceleration has gone down by two. His top speed has gone down, so his speed is slight. He is starting to decline, but this guy is still good, in my opinion. It, it doesn't matter that much. It's only gone down a couple of points. It's not a major, major drop. Everything else is still up. You know what I mean? That, those were the stats when he joined. You know, and they were really good stats, and those have improved. And um, I know a lot of people are saying, "Oh, you should get rid of him. Maybe, maybe it's time to move on." But I'm just like, I want this guy. I want this guy to stay till the very end, till he decides he wants to retire. <laughs> There's that, Marshall. Um, he he had a dodgy one against We United, didn't he? But he's still good. He's a keeper. His jump has gone up to 95. Keeper skills, 92. Teamwork, 82. Response, 97. Balance, 95. Defense, 91. Top speed, acceleration, etc. Which is important because if he's got to come out and stop a, a goal from happening, you know, keepers need to have some decent speed on them, don't they, at times? So does that. Maldini, I think he signed last season. Um, he was signed for quite a bit of money, actually. And, uh, again, he's going to be behind Heitinger and Puyol, of course, but he's still really good. Defence is up to 90 there. And teamwork has gone up. Um, his top speed, his acceleration has actually improved. He's getting better over the years. He's a regen. He's 25. He's going to get him. He's going to improve. I think he's one of those who, towards his 30s, sort of peaks. Whereas a lot of players can peak around 25 and then sort of, you know, they might still improve, but it might start to decline just after that. But that's really good. I can't ask for much more. He, he has made a few errors though which hopefully he'll learn from. He'll get better. Um, Cannavaro um, his defence has got up to 91 now. Everything's improving. In fact like his top speed for example is, is um, improved to 73. His acceleration has gone up by 10 as well. Response has gone up. Um, shot power has gone up. I mean I'm not expecting him to shoot but Fair enough. Uh, his jump has gone up to 92. As a defender, you want good jump. Uh, you want good jump. You want good defense. You want um, response. You know, stamina obviously is probably key with any player, but uh, top speed to get to things, acceleration. He's been solid, honestly. Lam, well, he's gone down since joining, unfortunately. He was signed as a, basically a backup left back if we need him. We do have Roberto Carlos, but you know, if Risa needs a rest, this guy came in. And to be honest, I wasn't expecting a whole lot, but he was good. He was fine. I don't have any complaints. His stats are declining slightly. Um, is he one we're going to keep next season? We'll see. But you know, we'll see if anything comes in. I'm happy to keep him. You know, I, I, I've not really seen any fault with him. I think he's played well. You know, I, I haven't expected a lot, but he's come in, he's done a job, and uh, I'm happy with that. He's fair to you, he'll be fair to you one next season. That's all I can say with that one, honestly. I Yeah, he might be declining at 30, but fair enough. It's not bothering me. Uh, Mafior, he's 30. He is a legend amongst legends here. Um, his stamina is 97 now, is it? Wow. I didn't realise it had gotten that good. <laughs> Shot power is 97. Free kick accuracy is 96. We should get this guy on free kicks, perhaps. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Um, technique, 95. Shot, yeah, we mentioned shot power, didn't we? Um, his long passing is actually better than his short. So... You know, if you if we did play him in defensive midfield like we do usually these days, or even centre midfield, he can put those balls through 
to the uh, the forward players. So yeah, balance 95, stamina 97, top speed 95. His acceleration is 93, so a little bit worse. Um, when he joined, actually, though, his acceleration was 78 and his top speed was 84. So his acceleration has gone right up to 93 now and his top speed has improved by 11. So, yeah, Mascherano, he's slightly on the decline there with the stamina going down, but still, I think he's quite a solid player. He maybe doesn't get as much time as you would hope he would he rotates basically with kaiser these days we let to jean go so he's had uh, a bit more game time actually now but he's solid i don't have a bad word to say about mascherano uh those are his stats if you want to look at them he's 30 he will be 31 next season also schneider will be 31 next season he's improved since joining uh, i think a couple of years back now isn't it um yeah he's he's fine He's absolutely fine. He, again, not asking for much of him. Kaling, 96. I forgot that was even a stat. <laughs> uh, technique, 97. Uh, dribble accuracy, 95. Just so good. Uh, top speed is 88, so not, not nowhere near the best on the team, but still it's good. Acceleration is 90. His acceleration is better than his top speed. Um, not, attack is 92. Um... He does a job, basically. That's all I can really say. He comes in when he needs to. He was kind of brought in as a sort of rotation kind of player, to be honest. Um, you know, if Gerard's not there or uh, whoever in the midfield needed replacing kind of thing. Fabregas has been with us for ages now. Since the start of Season 4, I believe. We're on, going into Season 11 soon. So, uh, this is his stats. Stamina 95. Um, dribble 95. Um, shot power is 95, technique 96, which I think is his best one, is technique. Uh, teamwork has got up right up to 91. He's good. He's uh, he's a ca he's sort of given the armband when he needs to. He did today. Uh, I don't know what to say. His, his stamina has gone right up to 95, which is really good. I'm, I'm always such a whore for stamina. I really am. Like I always like to make sure that the stamina of players is, is good. Or I'll see that it's improving, maybe. Rooney! <sighs> I mean, that's just red across the board. You think t you probably look at that and think to yourself, how are we not playing him? Like, as much as he should be, you know what I mean? It feels like, even though his, like, his stamina, for example, is 97, it always feels like he always needs a rest all the time, even though his stats suggest otherwise. It just feels like that with certain players, and I don't know why. Um, but, Rooney... It's hard to sell this guy again, you know what I mean? Like, we sold him once because I felt maybe he didn't fit in a bit. And I was like, you know what, let's give him a second chance. He's been good this season, honestly. Um, doesn't get as much time as you'd want to. Um, I don't know what else to say about him. You know, acceleration is 98. I think that's his best stat. It's hard to get a stat that's sort of that good. Um... But yeah, I, I don't know what else to say about him. Maybe you guys give me thoughts on Rooney. He'll be 29 next season. He doesn't. He's not showing, showing any signs of slowing down. Um, this is why I say maybe we could do to get rid of a striker. Rooney would maybe get a bit more game time. I don't know. We'll fig figure it out. Torres, though. Um, gradually getting less time on the team, Torres. Uh, he will be 31 this season. This is the thing. A lot of our team is starting to age a little bit into the 30s now. Um, which is not always a bad thing. I don't know what to say about Torres. I feel like his time is up. But like I said earlier, it'll probably be a case of we'll try to sell him. But he probably won't go. And it, he he will stay for another year and etc etc. Same will probably happen with Schwartz here. Schwartz's stats have actually gone down. His balance has gone down to a 94. His response has gone down to a 94. And his shot power and his jump. Now, is that due to me not playing him as much? I don't know, honestly. Um, I don't know. He, he he's another. He's twenty. He's only twenty six. You know I mean? You feel like he should be getting more game time. He had his his golden years are sort of behind him already, which is sad to say. Uh, not to say that they couldn't come back, but. You know, is he ever going to replicate season two or season three, etc., when he was just at his peak? You know, and his stats are better than 
better than they were back then you know what i mean i i don't know about this guy like we i think we tried to sell him on again and it didn't happen and i'm i'm not sure what to do with schwartz yeah you know i mean i think there's a little too many strikers in the team but at the same time i always say it's good for rotation because we've also got a wusu down here somewhere oscar cordoba by the way wasn't he sat? He was signed last summer because we wanted to get rid of Buffon. His response was 93. It's got up to 95. I don't think he's really had that bad of a game when we have played him. Um, he's played really good. We put faith in him in the Champions League semi final, I believe. I think it was. Um, his jumps got up to 90. Keep skills got up by one. Uh, stamina is got up to 68. Yeah, that's fair enough. Acceleration 81. Um, He's a great keeper, that's all i got to say. He's 23 as well, so he's hopefully just going to get better and better. Company. This guy, I always say let's sell him, and then we end up keeping him. He's another one that I always say let's sell, we keep. Uh, defense really good. Stamina really good. Balance really good. Shot power 95. He's a defender. We don't need him to shoot, but if you want him to shoot, there you go. He could do it. Um, you know... I don't, I don't know what to say. He, he's, he's still hanging about. He's there as a backup, kind of at this point, isn't he? Uh, technique ninety one, good stuff. He's twenty eight. So yeah, Cafu uh, is still very young. Cafu, he's twenty two. We've had him quite a few seasons now, and uh, he has improved. His stats, his stats are slowly getting there each season. He does play quite a lot of games actually. Uh, he replaces um, Sergio Ramos when he needs to. Stamina 94, dribble accuracy 80, uh, speed 82. Well, dribble speed, I mean 82. These are his best stats. Long passing speed is uh, 80. Teamwork has gone up to a 78 there. Always improving. He's getting better and better. Let's keep him. Let's see how he goes. Roberto Carlos, I think he's got a bit more game time. He's only 19, so a few years younger than Cafu. Um... His shot power is a 93, which you'd expect. <laughs> and yeah, he's getting better. Again, he's another young player. He's regened. He's going to get better as the years go on. I don't see any reason to get rid of this guy. Stamina's gone up uh, by eight points there. He's got up to an 89 now. So yeah, possible Risa replacement in the coming years. We'll, 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 uh, we'll be keeping tabs on it. He, he, he will get better. He's only 19, remember. Gambino, oh, this guy. He's he actually improved already since joining on a few of it. Well, on all of his stats, apart from Keeper, obviously. Um, some of his stats have improved by two. His top speed has gone up by two. So his acceleration. Uh, dribble speed has gone up. Dribble accuracy has only gone up by one. But still, this guy is... Oh, wait, he's 18? I thought he was 20. He's actually younger than I thought. Huh. Wow. Okay. Well, he's better than I thought. He's gonna get. He's gotta get a goal next season. Like I feel like it's gonna. It's gonna happen if we play him uh, enough. He might just get cup games and things here and there. But I reckon this guy is gonna be good for the future. We'll be holding on to him. Another one we're holding on to is Shimizu because this guy gets better and better each year. He joined a season two, and he's just gotten so good. He's. Passing in the midfield, uh, just getting forward, just generally, just like, on on his day, he can just absolutely terrorise the team, just absolutely, he'll, he'll just, he'll make you scared, and uh, that's what he does. Um, I think one thing for me about Shimizu has always been a stamina issue, it has gone up to a 93 now, so it is improved by almost 20 points, so he is getting better on that side of things. It's one of his small. It's one of the small things about him that kind of lets him down a little bit. Because we maybe the reason we don't play him as much. Don't forget he's competing against the likes of Iniesta, etc., for a midfield position. He can play up front, I believe. Um, good as always. You know, love the little guy, Joe Cole. Um, this guy, I was I think we was considering getting rid of Joe Cole, and then he just comes up. And he, wasn't it at the start of the season, he scored like the winning goals against uh, Tottenham and Manchester United when we were struggling a little bit in those games. And he just, he just does it when it needs to be done. Um, he's kind of like a midfield kind of Mewtwo in a way, maybe. 
you might say that. Is that a stretch too far? I don't know. Uh, technique has gone down by a couple of points there. His stats are really good. They always have been. Um, he's 32 now, so he's going to start declining. We could do to maybe replace him with someone else. But again, we'll look into the market and see if there's anything we could replace him with. Good old Joe Cole, that's all i got to say. Ronaldinho's stats have declined uh, quite a bit since joining. He's he's nowhere near his best anymore. His, techni his technique was 99. His, dribble his dribbling was, was a 99 at one point. His attack was 96. He's gone down. He scored a few goals this season in the cup competitions, etc. I think he may have played a league game here and there, but he's... Um, Again, he's one of those who I want to move on, but we end up just keeping him another year. Hopefully, that, that might be up. And finally, Awusu has joined. He joined halfway through last season. His shot power has gone down, which is concerning. Uh, dribble speed has gone down. Top speed has actually declined as well. Despite that, he's had a good season. I like him. He's good. Um... You know, I'd, it's gotten to the point where I'd rather play him over Schwartz, honestly. That's just how I feel about it, honestly. That That is how I feel about it. He, You might even say he was brought in to maybe possibly replace Schwartz in that role. Uh, he's played, he plays good, I like him, he scores some goals here and there. And that's just what you want. And that's that. Well, we haven't gone through the point ranking system yet, and this is what it is. So I don't think it's maybe even changed at all because Khan's still up there with a 6.33 for goalkeepers. Toldo's up there, 6.29. Van der Sar at 2008 there with 6.22. Lehman at 2008 with uh, 6.18. And Barthes, who is still going with 6.16. So Barthes probably the best keeper right now in terms of ranking. Caboni of Arsenal for defenders, 6. 6.46 there who's still going Nesto's in fifth for defenders with a 6.43 for AC Milan uh, Maldini's still top there 6.67 that may be difficult to be he only had one season um, it was probably just a really good season it was the first season and he retired so yeah midfielders uh, we've got Gullit there 6.53 uh, with AC Milan we've got uh, Stellinger of AC Milan who's just below that with 6.49 Nedved um, when he retired in 2008, 6.46. Uh, We've got um, Bre Bre Brina, Bretner, uh, whatever, for Juventus, 6.45. And Albertini um, of 2008, 6.43. For forward players, uh, Bergkamp, who... Is he... Is he retired? Or was it Lundberg who's retiring? I think it was Lundberg, actually. Um, he's on there for forward play, 6.54. Lopez um, of 2010, 6.59. We've got Denilson in second uh, with two, with, of 2013 of 60... Um, 6.61, sorry. Larson is third with 2008, 6.59. But uh, Rumanish, or what you want to call him, of Juventus, 6.64, who's still going. Results of this season for us look like this as well. Um, we've got 27 wins, 2 draws, 1 loss in the league. Scored 92, conceded 12, goal difference 80, 2 yellow cards. Win average of 90% this season. Really good. Definitely up there. How does it compare to other seasons uh, uh, 2009 we had a, a win of 90% uh, in the, well in the league anyway um, 27 2 and 1 which I think equals this season we conceded one more goal that season and we scored 85 what did we score this season 92 so we actually improved on the 2009 error there um, 2010 uh, that was the year we only conceded three league goals. How we managed that, I don't know. 93.33. We didn't lose a game. We drew two, though. Uh, we scored 80. Uh, two yellow cards. Goal difference, uh, 77. Uh, then we got a little worse <laughs> in 2011 there. 83.33. We lost two games. Drawn three. Goal difference uh, was 77. Another two yellow cards. Is it me or we always get, like two yellow cards almost sometimes but um another unbeaten season there but seven draws that season 2012 really 
Uh, whatever then. Um, conceded 11. But yeah, I think we've had one of the most solid seasons here. Uh, not as good as the 93.33, but definitely up there. Very good season. Could we improve on that next season? I guess we'll see. And as for the players themselves, uh, this is what it looks like. So uh, 23 and 7 assists for Ronaldo uh, this season in the league. Um, Gerard 4 goals and 6 assists. Mutu were 19 and 4. Wusu were 4 and 1. See, you know, 4. I mean, I know it's not a lot, but still. Uh, Gambino actually provided 3 assists as well. Got a 6.8 rating there. Um, Iniesta was 7.1. Uh, what else we got? We got seven point two of Mutu here. Babel with a uh, seven point one. Schneider with a seven. Uh, Babel got eighteen goals and four assists this season. Sh uh, Shimizu, the one league, got really just the one goal for him this season. Uh, Schneider with one. Uh, Torres with five goals in the league. That was it. You know what I mean? You look at that and you think, is it worth him being there anymore? Tor Someone of Torres' ability is only getting five goals in a league season. Hmm. Uh, Ramos got a goal. Fabregas got a goal, but provided eight assists. Uh, Mafio did not score this season and um, provided two assists. Uh, Joe Cole got four. Kaiser got one, which I believe was on the last day. Anyway, this has dragged on long enough, so let's get through this. Assists. Gerard with 15. Well, we're not with 15, but he's in 15th position, along with Veron, who retired in 2012. Uh, both got 83 assists. You need 83 to get on the all-time assist table. Cassano there has got uh, 84 of Roma. Shevchenko's got 85. Uh, he is tied with 12 uh, with Diesler. Uh, who has got 85 as well. Vicente is 11th there with 87. We've got Baptista with 88. Schweinsteiger's also got 88. Totti, who... Oh, Totti is... Totti 2014. So, he's retired this season. Uh, he's got 88. He won't be able to improve. I don't believe the, the regens don't count towards it. So, for, for example, if Totti regen, I don't believe that adds anything to it. Um, like if he scored as a regen it wouldn't go up to 89 I think it just starts again because it, it goes by the uh, retired sort of area I guess you want to call it but uh, yeah uh, Lampard 91 Ronaldo 91 also he's playing for us uh, we've got Van Bommel with 93 retires uh, this season uh, Schneider He's got 94, so we've got we've got a really good one. That most of them were for Ajax, though. Uh, Chavi of AC Milan uh, has got 103. Kaka of who's playing for Roma now has got 105, and Deco is still top. So he's not played for like what a season or two now, and he's still top of that with 120. And finally, the top goal scorers of all time here. Now to get on this, you need 141 which Ronaldo for us does have. He's tied with Shevchenko there. Whether or not there's any other players that are on 141, I'm not sure. But, yeah, Ronaldo's got 141 goals uh, in 10 seasons now. So they, all these stats you're looking at are 10 seasons worth in this game. Uh, I'm out of Valencia's got 151. Schwartz for us, 151. So he's, even, he's, he's ahead. That just puts it into perspective that he's got more goals than Ronaldo. It just puts it into perspective how good he was back then. Um, you know, in the season two and three days. Totti, um, 153, though he's retired. we got Thierry Reeves on 154. Uh, Ibrahimovic and Drogba are tied on 158 each. In ninth, we've got Saviola of Sevilla, who's on 159. That's interesting. Babel! I mean, uh, probably a lot of his goals came with Ajax, but he's on 168. He scored 168 times. He's got more than Ronaldo. Holy yeah, I didn't expect him to be on this list at all. For some reason. Uh, right? I don't think he was on it last season. I, I don't remember. Um, Smith, who just scores so many goals for United, is on 170. Babel's not far behind him. Torres 171, he only put in about five or something goals this season. He didn't really score an awful lot, did he? Michael Owen of Newcastle 178. 
Cliver of Valencia, 179. Second place. And you have just to get to second place, you've got to score over 200 now. Uh, Ruben Oliveira of Real Batiste. And of course, you know who it's going to be who is top. Yes, it is Mutu. Mutu is number one with 246. He is up to now. Could he? Uh, he's, he's 35. He's got to be 36 next season. Could he break the 300? Is it possible? I almost want to say maybe not, but this is Mutu. He's probably more than likely gonna do it oh my god and that is it <laughs> that is it guys uh, i've been sat here for about an hour talking about everything and that's what i do on the last day and i like to do it because i like to show you guys everything but what a great season started out a little bit tricky with uh manchester united and spares here but we really got the ball rolling after a while uh in the cup competitions we knocked out i believe arsenal who was it we played in the first uh, it was Chelsea, yeah, it was Chelsea, and then I think, uh, who was it we played? Oh, that was Champions League, I think it was here actually, uh, it was, oh yeah, it was We United, wasn't it? Uh, and then it was Arsenal, then it was Newcastle, what a final against Newcastle that was, to be honest. Um, great stuff, Celtic stayed up, I thought Bolton and Blackburn were going to go down because I just, they were hanging around the bottom, especially Blackburn, they looked like they were going to go down all season long, and then they just pulled it out of the bag on the last game there, and oh my, what a great ending to that to this season, I can't believe Villa are going down, Middlesbrough are going down though, um, as well, in fact, how did we get on against Middlesbrough, we beat them both times 2-0, uh, and 3-2. So, yeah, we did beat them both times this season. Um, if I have to pick a favourite game of the season, I don't even remember. Maybe the Newcastle Cup final, because that was just epic ending to that one. Maybe that one. Um, but, yeah, Villa not going to be in this league come next season. That is insane. And also, uh, just before we get off, yeah, we are going to be... Um, doing the next game we're going into season 11 against the world all-stars to start off with and what we're gonna do is we are actually gonna set the game timer to 30 minutes that's right we're in back in i think the season one two and three days we played 15 minute games each i think for season four onwards we switched it to uh 10 minute games what we're gonna for one game only in pre-season against the best of the best in this game Against the World All-Stars at Anfield, we're going to set the timer to 30 minutes and just have a massive game against the World All-Stars and just see what happens. It's going to be a long, long episode, but we're going to do it. We're going to have something a little special, so that will be coming up for you next in the next one. So, yeah. That is it. Oh, that's all I wanted to say today, guys. Thank you for watching the season. Thank you for being there. Thanks for the support. Thanks to the guys who make the patches and everything. You guys are legends. And uh, that's it. See you next season. Thank you for watching this one. See you next time. And yet again, take care.